What is up everybody? It is Kelsey Brianna J here with a review on two new MAC collections. These just recently launched online as well as in every MAC store. The first collection that I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the Supreme Beam collection. I did not pick up every piece from this collection but I do have swatches of everything from that collection so if you're interested in that I will insert pictures from when I swatched it when I was at the counter. And the second collection that MAC released is the Dazzle Shadow Liquid collection where they have Dazzle Shadow eyeshadows I have on some products from this collection now so let's go ahead and jump into the details so let's first talk about the supreme beam collection because this collection encompasses the most pieces out of the two the description of this collection is as follows shine bright like a heavenly halo with supreme beam holographic color looks transfixing on lips with 10 new shades of grand illusion glossy liquid lip color backed by popular demand glow with four highlighting FX hues of hyper real foundation finally light the way to divine luminosity with the intense sheen of iridescent powder slash loose so let's first talk about the grand illusion glossy liquid lip colors these retail for $21 there are 10 new shades you guys know that they released this formulation of lip products a little bit earlier on in the year I picked up a good amount of them when they initially launched and I did a try on video for you guys now I was a huge fan of those colors they were so iridescent they gave this beautiful shift you'll look in one light and you'll see one color you'll turn your face and you'll see another color I was absolutely obsessed with the color range of that but I did not like that they were minty they felt very tingly on the lips and if you guys know me you watch my videos you'll know that I do not like lip plumping lip tingling anything that gives that sensation because I don't like the way it feels on my lips but aside from that I do like the formulation of that lip product they look very glassy on the lips and I love the dimension that those lip products have so if you don't mind a tingle I think that you should go and check out these products because they're super beautiful so next in the collection we have the high Hyper Real Foundation. Now, if you are an OG MAC head, then you will remember back in the day, MAC used to have a product called Hyper Real Foundation. Now, this is not the same product. The Hyper Real Foundation came in the traditional MAC colors like NC20, NC45, and so on, but they did not bring it back in that capacity. What they've done is give us four colors of like a liquid highlighter so you can mix it in with your foundation. It gives you a little bit more freedom to choose whatever type of luminosity you want to add so I have the color rose gold and of course I have it on my face now there's four different colors of this product you have gold violet rose gold and bronze the description on this product says to add a dose of exceptional long wearing liquid pearl with hyper real foundation this weightless liquid highlighter imparts a dreamy glow with a refined pearl finish for a complexion that immediately looks brighter dimensional and healthy looking this silicone based liquid is sheer to medium in coverage with a satin sheen that is meant to be seen so what I did was actually mix this product in with my foundation and I also apply a little bit of this product as a highlighter base and I found it very interesting that they named this a foundation when it's very much so a liquid highlighter and lastly in this collection Mac brought back the iridescent loose powders these were permanent products a while ago they got discontinued when I worked at Mac so I would say they got discontinued maybe like 2013 ish and they haven't made an appearance yet until now these are loose highlighters highlighters so you do have freedom to do with these as you please you can mix it in with body gels body oils to give you an all over glow or you can use them on your face and there are only two colors that were launched and these are the two colors that they always had I have mine from so long ago and I did not repurchase it with this collection simply because I don't feel like it's the same color as it was before I feel like the golden bronze now is a little bit darker than my golden bronze the golden bronze now I feel like it's a true bronze color It's very deep and my golden bronze is like a lighter golden color here's a swatch of golden bronze this is an old one this one is from 2007 next we have the dazzle shadow liquid which is max version of liquid eyeshadows it comes in this cylinder package the description on max website says get lost in eyes that tantalize mesmerize and glamorize introducing the irresistible twinkle of our all new days inducing dazzle shadow liquid available in a range of beaming finishes from glaring glitter to subtle spark 
sparkle and cool chrome. This ultra shiny liquid eyeshadow glides across the lids for a wash of brilliant color that keeps its splendor for up to eight hours. Its lightweight cooling formula sets quickly for the ultimate second skin texture that feels ultra soft on lids. So of course I have it on now and I swatched all of the colors for you guys and like they stated there are different finishes so some of them are going to be more intense than others. There are going to be some that have glitter and some that don't. So the one that I settled on grabbing is the color blinking brilliant which is this bronzy gold color the formulation of this product it varies the one that I have is classified as a shimmer so I did have to apply it a few times on the lid to build up the opacity but you guys will see that in the demonstration comparing it to Stila's glitter and glow eye products I personally feel like the Stila products they have a little bit more of a base color and you don't have to use as much products as the MAC ones I do feel like the MAC one does take a long time to dry down once it dries down it's not moving I didn't get fallout with this product so I'm not having glitter all over the eyelid however you do have to work fast and you do have to use quite a bit of products to build it up and that just was my experience with the shimmer one I'm sure the other metal ones are not going to be as difficult to get opaque because they swatched opaquely but I want to go ahead and jump into the demonstration of these products that way you guys can see what they look like in action and then I will follow back up with my final thoughts so enjoy so I already have the general basis of my eyeshadow look down pat. So I'm going to apply the Dazzle Shadow Liquid in like the space that I left open. I'm not going to put it all the way on the inner corner because I do want to put another color there. It has a little applicator. I find that applying liquid shadows go on a little bit better when I use a smaller detailer brush. So I'm taking a little bit of this shadow on the back of my hand. So here's the shadow and then my brush. I'm going to pack this on the lid making sure to blend it with that brown and I'm going to take it a little bit higher as well feels very cool to the touch it feels a bit tacky it feels almost like how loose glitter feels when you mix it with another adhesive so I'm just gonna bring this all the way up and blend it up so I'm not going for a cut crease type look so I'm actually blending above my crease I wouldn't suggest letting it sit too long because I do think that it starts to kind of set where it is but they're blending out nicely I'm gonna go over certain areas to make it more opaque like I like the way the glitter looks but it's kind of separating it's not giving me full opacity no matter how many times I pack on a color in a certain areas like it keeps coming up I wouldn't say that this is sheer, but it doesn't have a base color, so it's just glitter. So I finished a good amount of my eye look, so now I'm going to move on and do some of my face look. I have the new Hyper Real foundation here. I have the color Rose Gold. For foundation today, I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, which in my opinion is one of the best foundations that MAC makes. I'm going to mix a bit of NC44 and NC42 to give me NC43, some of rose gold. I would have loved to see this have a dropper. With my LC sponge, I'm just going to mix this product up. And by mix, I mean like dab it around. Let's go ahead and apply it to the face. Looks pretty radiant so far. So you can get it to give you a little bit less coverage if you don't apply a lot, but this foundation is really nice for summertime. As you guys saw, I put a decent amount of the Hyper Real Glow. The rose gold is not super apparent. I do feel like it makes the foundation glowier. But as far as seeing that sparkle and the hint of rose gold, I really cannot tell a difference. I actually want to go back with a little bit more of the rose gold. By itself, I want to see what this looks like as a highlight. So I'm just pouncing it with the sponge. I mean, I feel like it's very subtle on me. I feel like their strobe cream gives me more of a reflective quality on my complexion than the Hyper Real Foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. And as always, I will have all makeup details listed down below for everything that's on my face. But here's an overview. 
So the two products that I got, I do feel like they are quality products. I like them, but I don't feel like they're necessary for my collection. The Hyper Real Foundation, I don't feel like it really added a whole lot to my foundation. I feel like my foundation did look pretty, but I always feel like my foundation looks very pretty with that product. And I feel like MAC already has products within their own line that does the same job as the Hyper Real Foundation. The strobe creams mixed in with foundations are going to give you the same effect. And dare I say, I feel like the strobe creams are more intense. I feel like the Hyper Real Foundation is a very subtle addition to your products. As far as the Dazzle Shadow Liquid that I bought, I don't feel like this is a bad product. It was a little bit tackier than I anticipated and it didn't have too much of a base color. So if you're interested in these, I would say have an eyeshadow underneath it. That way it's not so see-through on the lid and you don't have to pack on as much product because packing this on, it can start to feel heavy and it was really hard to build the opacity because I feel like there were always like little patches of color overall I don't feel like it's bad but I feel like Stila just does this better and that's my overall thoughts on this collection I'm not mad at my purchases but I'm not going to tell you to run out and get these purchases either so let me know you guys thoughts on this collection if you have not already make sure you like comment and subscribe with the bell on and I will see you guys in my very next video smooches bye